our goal here is so that when the students leave, they should be able to hit every step in the process. They should be able to go from looking at a blueprint that the engineer hands them to programming the machine, setting it up and running it all the way to the finished part. Well, we went from having all manual except for one CNC that was old to having brand new Haas machines and a whole new way of putting that CAD and injecting it into the machine to make a machine do all the work for you. And then we will transition them over to the CNC side once they've got their feet under them um, because that's where the majority of the jobs are at now. Um, so the CNC machining, it goes into all sorts of different types of manufacturing. Um, we've got a lot of furniture industry around here that uses it quite a bit. Um, we've got some machine shops in the area that do things for aerospace, medical industry. I mean, it's, it's really a trade that if you get into it, there's an unlimited number of possibilities for you. I love watching the metal go away. I love being able to, I know it's a really simple thing, but I loved just thinking of something and you just watch it like shape out of nothing. It's a different atmosphere. You come in and you learn the coding aspect of it and punching numbers and letters into a machine and watching it do what you tell it to do and, and the precision and the speed and the ability to make something like that perform the way you want it to. It's just an entirely different animal. You are an engineer. You need to understand the processes that you're using. I need to be able to understand what, as an engineer, the people that are making my part will be using so that one, I can make it easier for them. It helps to know how something will react to being milk, such as heat and deformation. This occupation was uh, mainly just being able to take a blueprint and a piece of metal and, and make a functional part out of it. There is a lot of variety working on the floor. It's, it's not necessarily the same thing every day. Some days you'll have some of the same, you know, things, but most days it's it's totally different every day it's a new day there's just so many machining jobs out there and there's not enough people to fill them because sure they could go anywhere and get a job with what they've learned here but a lot of them like their local community and they want to stay here and help contribute so we try to work as closely as we can with local industry and filling what needs they have um, as far as the equipment that they've got and there's a broad spectrum in this county um, there's many different types of manufacturing jobs and we try to help them fill all of them.